Got another question on YouTube from one that watches our channel about basically what boils down to this. A landlord puts a provision in their lease agreement that basically prohibits a tenant from bringing a certain family member on to their property, if that's legal or not. Hi, my name is Rob Wells. I'm the Landlord War on TikTok and YouTube. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. Now, to answer this question, um, you kind of have to step back um, and I have to explain that not every lease term is going to be legal or going to be a term where a judge or a court can basically you know terminate a tenancy and evict a tenant for violating that term some terms and leases are illegal some terms are what we would be call non-material basically and in california the law is a court can terminate a tenancy and evict a tenant if it's a material breach of a term of a lease agreement so let me give you some examples um so let's say your lease says you know you can have a dog but the dog can't weigh more than 25 pounds okay and baxter tenant's dog is a dog he weighed under 25 pounds when he started the tenancy but baxter like everyone else you know he gained a little bit of weight he became 35 pounds okay well if that landlord tries to terminate the tenancy for that ground court can hold that that's not a material breach of term of lease we're talking about the same dog here you know he was 25 pounds he gained a little bit of weight okay that's different than hey, I bring a dog that weighs 300 pounds okay that would probably be a material breach in this particular youtubers question um, I would I would caution this landlord listen you probably don't want to have a specific term that a specific family member of the tenant can't come to the property. You know what the problem that landlord's probably going to face? They're probably going to face a discrimination claim from the tenant, basically, for violating, discriminating on family status, okay? Anytime you target someone's, like, you know, family members or familiar status, like, you know, you can't, you only can have, enough, you know, two children at the property, that's going to violate discrimination laws on family status, okay? Just a big no-no, okay? My general rule is, landlords, you want to regulate conduct, tenant conduct, not the actual tenant, okay? So things like if a tenant can't cause a nuisance, okay? And if a tenant's being loud and obnoxious and keeping people up, okay, you can have terms in your lease that say, hey, you can't do that type of stuff versus, you know, this particular person because you know what? I had a beef with you, some type of argument. I just don't like you. Probably not a good idea to put that in your lease agreement, okay? Target behavior, don't target people. That's my general rule. And you probably stay a lot, you stay out of trouble if you kind of focus on those issues like that. Obviously, if you have a landlord tenant problem, it's best to talk with competent landlords counsel make sure you're above the law you're not discriminating inadvertently or violating some other law okay if you have comments put them in below or questions put them in below i'll try to answer them in the comments and if you like our videos like share and subscribe until next time folks we'll talk to you then thanks